Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Here we have Deck Profile Friday, and today we're going to be going over the deck that I used in last night's pre-release. That's right, that is my third one. Um, I did get three bonus packs, which will be, um, I will be opening probably on, on, on Sunday there for the opening um, as I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, one, at least one more pre-release. So we're going to have kind of, kind of basically a duplicate um, pre-release opening, which is, you know, it's going to be pretty good. Right, hopefully we will be able to redeem ourselves compared to last Sunday where we didn't pull anything out of our extra six packs. But uh, yeah, today is Deck Profile Friday. So yeah, we're just going to talk about the deck that I used to go 2-1 in last night's pre-release. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting the Chien Pao deck, which I didn't play this, by the way. And uh, yeah, in that, I just got a Cyclozar EX, right? So it's not, not a terrible card for a pre-release. Standard, though, not good at all. It's not great, right? It's uh, Attacks are basically all pretty pretty crappy and um yeah i would not definitely be using this card at all but uh yeah with that aside you know we're just gonna kind of go over my deck i ended up getting the um the quackwavel right quackaval and uh gouging fire deck all right but i just said to hell with it man i'm not gonna play uh, Kokavo, right? You know, a lot of people are playing that. We're just going to go straight Gouging Fire. And, uh, you kind of all started, you know, after playing two games with that old Maridon deck, right? Which, you know, I still think is still a really good deck right now. Um, but my list is just not working for me, right? So it just needs some work. And, uh, yeah, I ended up playing against, uh, um, my friend Elena. And, they were playing gouging fire right and i ended up losing 2-0 to that so in what uh, better way um to, to to honor them than to play gouging fire and up and i ended up uh playing or getting um you know a total set of four right two in the deck and two hollows surprising and, uh, yeah, this was my only Pokemon, right? Kind of felt like, you know, Iron Thorns going into Worlds there. And, um, yeah, it wasn't that bad. The probability of actually starting with it is actually not that bad. You know, 40 cards is a way, it's way easier than 60 cards. And out of the three games that I played, I only mulliganed twice, right? And in all three games, I basically had... Um, I was able to get out at least three Gouging Fire in play. So, yeah, Gouging Fire here, though, 130 hit points, two retrieves, resistance uh, to nothing and weak to water. First attack, a lunge out, uh, which costs one fire, does 30. And then Blazing Charge for two fire and a colorless. It does 100, and then it says, if your opponent has four or fewer prize cards remaining, this attack does 70 more damage, which is perfect in a pre-release because you only play four prize cards, but you're hitting 170 for three energies. And, uh, yeah, basically, you just want to start first. A lot of people, are, you know, were playing, uh, you know, decided to go second. Uh, in this tournament, we're going first, and a pre-release is always the best move. And it's always the best move because of that energy attachment, right? So, yeah, that's the uh, the Gouging Fire, which, yeah, I really love this. I ended up getting two Ho's as well, but I opted not to play them because I wasn't playing a Terra. And then uh, the first attack cost the cost one energy right so yeah 
I, uh, you know, it just felt like it was probably one more energy, two for 50, rather than just using the first attack here twice, which would do 60 overall, right? Uh, trainer cards, we got an Arvin, which is a really good one. Search for that uh, item and tool card. We got Drayton, right? Search for a Pokemon and a trainer card from the top seven. Mela, an uh, amazing card. I really love this card, right? This is one of the best cards for fire. Um, and this basically, if I was, if I'm able to set up two gouging fires, right, uh, in a row, and you can't like, you know, knock them out, then I'm basically just gonna run away with the game. That's what happened in, in uh, both my wins there. So. Uh, which uh, gave me that 2-1-0 record. Surfer. You know, I had um, a guy play... Uh, what was it? It was... I think it was time where it forced me to switch. And then I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll just Surfer. And then I was able to draw cards. And then uh, basically it was GG. So Artisan. Uh, more consistency with that Gouging Fire. Right, chill teaser toy, you know, the uh, you know, counter to my opponent's, uh, you know, obviously going first, right? So, a great card, dusk ball, get that extra Pokemon search, right? From the bottom seven, so basically the opposite of great ball, earthen vessel, right? So, this card is in here, right. I don't need to actually search out energies in this deck. I don't need to because I run so many. The whole purpose of this card was just to um, to play it so I can get energies out of the deck so I can draw into all these trainers. Right? That's the whole purpose of it, right? Um, power Glass. This is what, um, you know, makes uh, getting that turn to Blazing Charge possible. Power Glass, right? I think this card's really underrated right now. And uh, I think it's definitely, um, could definitely be one of the um, best cards in the, uh, in the game. So, and it's, yeah, it's a tool too, right? So, if you're able to, you know, four Ultra Ball... Right, four power glass type of thing in a deck that likes to go first. Right, so you can get that turn two attack boss's orders type of thing. Right, I think this is an amazing card. So, Ultra Ball. Right, um, once again, more Pokemon search. Right, you can discard that energy. Right, to put into the discard and uh, you know to combo that with Mela. Right, we got a vitality band that's the basically the last um trainer card in the deck, and then we got fire energies one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 fire energies to round up the deck. And that is Gouging Fire. So. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you all en enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, it was fun playing this. I just having a good time, and people seem like, oh my god, this guy's running four gouging fire, like what? And everyone just started laughing, so I'm like, hey, I'm, you know, it's just, it's a simple strategy, and I just didn't really care, right? So, but uh, yeah, it's a fun list, and. Uh, just wanted to hopefully show you some ideas on what can, uh, you know, 
net you the big wins, right? So, um, yeah, there you go, everybody. And, uh, yeah, once again, uh, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video.